Thank you to my Democratic brothers. Anyone else have something that they'd like to tell us that's important? Yes, sir. Howdy. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for showing up tonight. It's good to see a big crowd, and I hope you keep coming back every time because, like people said, there's a lot of work to be done all year. Second of all, this is the Lowndes County Democratic Party, so I would like to be partisan for a moment. Uh, Barack Obama, our president, passed the Lily Ledbetter Equal Pay Act. Barack Obama reformed student loans so that you won't have to pay quite as much through the nose as you used to. Barack Obama passed the first medical health care reform bill since Lyndon Johnson. And, you know, it's not what I would have liked. I would like single payer for everybody, and we'll get there someday. I would like that, and we can start on that now. But what it does do is that you cannot be refused for pre-existing conditions. The insurance companies can't just keep raising the rates, and the insurance companies have to dedicate, I think it's 85% of what they raise, to actual health care, which is going to have quite a bit of effect on uh, <coughs> public, uh, on non-public insurance companies. Now, after all that, <coughs> I'm afraid I have to say something good about something that was done by a Republican. This was a long time ago, though, and he was not like the current Republicans, not very much. <clears throat> this is uh, June, which means June 19th is Juneteenth. There's flyers right here. You can get one. You should go to this. It's Valdosta's annual celebration. They have them in other places as well. And um, just one other thing. I was over at the uh, Remerton City Council meeting. They're considering a, a request for a permit by the current owners of the Strickland Mill, which is the cotton mill that employed people in Remerton for generations after hmm, the unpleasantness this thing was about. And um, I don't know whether you like that mill or not, but I do know a lot of places, mills like that have been turned into fabulous office space for high tech or other companies, or it could be you know, a brew pub or something. And the issue is that the current owners have been trying for years to find a developer or somebody to do something with it. Now, those of you running for office, if you happen to run into someone who wanted to do that, that might make you very popular in Remerton and beyond. And jobs are what we need right here in Valdosta, Lowndes County, and Remerton. Thank you. Right. Yes, sir. You have something? Okay. Come, come to the microphone. And since you're new to your, our group, you'll need to introduce yourself. Right. Good afternoon, everybody. I, too, am a retired Marine, military guy. And I heard way I got out, retired in 2003. And uh, hadn't been doing a lot of political walk. I voted, vote every year. But this year, I'm extremely upset how... The Republican Party has been really slashing at the Democratic Party. And my name is Bobby Bryant, Jr. I own the house. My dad just passed down that by Mitchell Barbecue Stand, that big house, right down on the, on the south side of town. I'd like to do more this year. I am a Democrat and 52 years of age, got a lot of skills behind me, and I'm willing to do more than I've been doing. In the church, I've been preaching to the youth. I've been preaching to a lot of folks. My sister Tina right there, she got me and my wife to come out tonight, first time. And I'm delighted to be here tonight. But we got to do something. I listen to Sean Hannity. I'm, I'm the type of person that likes to listen to all the politics. At night, sometimes I just can't go to sleep. I'm just listening, listening. I'm learning. But when I see a truck right here on Patterson Street, or Astro Street, got kill Obamacare. And for the first time, all the presidents in the United States, but we want to just, everything he do, we want to slash it. And it's like he haven't did nothing. But if you're a true Democrat, just like the brothers say, let's don't be shy about it. Let's start speaking out and let's do some more. Because I'm, I'm really hearing a lot of quietness. And I think right now it's time for us to really start stepping up to the plate. Those are true Democrats. Thank you, sir. I am a Democrat, 
I will be a Democrat my entire life. Anybody else have something they want to tell us? Yes, sir. Okay, well, here's what I know about online registration and voting. Um, there is no online registration yet. The online voting is only for the military, as far as I know. So only military can vote online. They have a special o overseas military. Okay, on mm only overseas military can vote online. Military and overseas. Okay, military and overseas can vote online. All the rest of us who are here have to still either vote absentee or in person or early. Now, um, over on that table right over there in the back are, is this form. This is the official application for absentee ballot. You can mail these in and get your ballot delivered to you wherever you want. You can take these and give them to your friends and family and they can fill them in and have their ballot delivered to them wherever they want, either at their home or if they're out of town or anywhere they are. Um, this is uh, an easy way for uh, some of our folks to be able to vote. Um, if they're, they have mobility issues, if they have literacy issues, um, they can get their ballot. You don't need any reason to get your ballot by mail. So there's these forms are in the back. You can deliver them to your friends. Um, as Dr. Mark said, the last day to register to vote in the primary is July the 2nd. Uh, there'll be a Saturday voting on July the 21st and then the primary on the 31st. I encourage you to vote early. Just go and it's easy and then you don't have to worry about if it rains on the day or your car breaks down. I've been having chronic car breakdown lately, so I wouldn't um, want to wait until the day. Anybody else? Did I answer your question? Miss Lee. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Gladys Lee. And I'm from Brooks County. But I am a member of the Lowndes County Democratic Party. While I was coming to the meeting, I saw this little truck that had this huge sign in bold writing that says, Obama is not working. It's parked right on Ashley Street in front of a business. Now, to offset that, the president provides a website, and it's called Truth, and you can get facts so that you can offset that kind of publicity. We have the president's record on jobs and the economy. The president has taken aggressive steps to put Americans back to work, for years before the economic crisis, the middle class security had been slipping away. The president and the Congress, that part of the Congress that cooperates, because we do know that the Republicans are not cooperating because their goal is to make our president a one-term president. It's not going to happen. It, we cannot allow that to happen. Get the facts so that when you hear people and you, they read a sign that says Obama is not working, you say, I beg to differ with you. The president rescued the United States auto industry. The president has passed the Jobs Act for women. The president has put Americans back to work, and he wants to put more Americans back to work if he gets the cooperation. So we have to get the facts, the president's record on the jobs and the economy. You can print that. You can have it at your disposal. So you offset the negativity that says, yes, President Obama is working. 
and the fact that we've elected him, we're going to re-elect him again, 2012, <laughs> because we know that we did not just elect President Obama just because we voted. This was divinely inspired, and it still is. But we've got to get everybody informed and armed with the facts. President Obama is working. America is better. And we will continue to believe that and make sure for the next four years he will be right back, Pennsylvania Avenue, White House, we on your side. We got your back. Ms. Lee makes a really important fact, point. Um, we need to be well informed so that we can um, discuss intelligently with our Republican friends. Donna. For poll watching. Um, we will do it in the fall, uh, have poll watchers, um, yes. Um, if you want to be a poll worker uh, and work at the polls, back on that same table where I sh uh, said the um, voter registration absentee thing was, there's a, a Lowndes County poll worker. The Board of Elections is always looking for people to work at the polls, so we do have that uh, back there. There also is information about voter ID. Uh, the voter ID laws in Georgia um, are always changing, so there's information about uh, voter ID. The easiest thing for people to do here in this county in order to get voter ID is to go to the Board of Elections, um, and the Board of Elections will help them understand what in, um, documents they need to bring to prove their residency. The other thing that's back there is a map of the new um, districts. It's primarily a map of 177, but um, maybe you used to vote in some other district. We've had a lot of redistricting, so this is the um, district map for the city of Valdosta and 174, 175, 176, 177 boundaries, so you can figure out where you actually vote now. You can also go to the Secretary of State's website, um, to the My Voter page, and uh, it will tell you exactly what districts you vote in. Most of our county is now in Congressional District 8. Um, the Democratic Party, sadly, did not um, field a candidate to run against Austin Scott. Uh, that will be, I would say, my number one thing after I am elected to be the county chairman um, is to help identify somebody to run in that congressional district, in Congressional District 8. It's a shame that we didn't um, manage to qualify anybody. Upcoming events. The barbecue is Thursday, July the 5th. In your packet, you should have gotten a sign-up sheet. Please... Um, Buy your tickets now. Uh, Laverne is helping me to ident identify um, and secure our most excellent speaker. Um, Saturday voting, I already said, the primary. Our next regular meeting will be August the 6th. Um, the other thing that we're actively working on, you'll remember in 2008 that we had uh, our regular party office, which is on Slater Street as al always, um, but we had the Barack Obama House um, on uh, at East Adair Street. Um, we are looking for, we are actively looking for a location right now where we will have Obama volunteers um, have a place for them to work uh, on that campaign to volunteer with Organizing for America Campaign for Change, all of that. So stay tuned. If you're not on our mailing list, um, please make sure you sign the sign-in sheet legibly so that I can get the email address right. I got some of them back from the last meeting. Um, if you're on Facebook, we have a Facebook group, and we have a Facebook page. You can like the page and join the group. Um, if you just get a telephone call, let me know. I called 40 people today to remind them of the meeting. You can call 40 people, too. It's really a lot of fun, and you get to talk to Democrats. You know every person you're calling is a Democrat. Uh, one last thing. On July the 31st, uh, even if you don't care about a single Democratic candidate, which you certainly do because we're Democrats here, we're going to vote on Tisplost. Uh, Tisplost is the regional ta transportation tax. Um, I urge you to um, read very carefully about it, and I will tell you that I plan to vote no. Um, I will gladly talk to you afterwards about why, but in our region, I think that it is inappropriate. 
Uh, any other questions? Any other business? Thank you very much. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, w Warren Lee's brother? Okay, Warren Lee's brother passed away today. Please keep the Lee family in your prayers. Okay. Um, we'll also need some volunteers for the barbecue, so if you want to help with the barbecue, let me know. Um, and I will see you all on July the 5th at the Thursday. Thank you very much. <laughs>